Hello people. So today I am going to separate readings again with Moa, so you're going to be able to see me again. Please let me know if you prefer to do uh, these kind of videos where you see my face and I show the cards, or if it should be the readings where you just see the deck uh, and my hands. I have my um, pink big candle that I'm going to use today. I have my little crystal ball. Remember that sometimes it's important that you watch this um, pre-clips that I do before the reading because I sometimes get intuitive uh, readings before I start the actual readings. So I know some people just skip to the, uh, the messages and sometimes take the time to just see the entire video because there might be something. And you might also learn something. I am going to use my mugwort, which is uh, to just bring out um, clear reading, clear like my intuitive reading. This is like opening up for the spiritual realm, so it uh, is opening up for your guides. So I'm just gonna let that be here. I got storyteller. I don't know if that's for someone special. Maybe someone is uh, someone who tells stories. Maybe this is something that you need to do. I got the name Sophie. There's always different kind of entities coming uh, through, so it might the, the Sophie might not be the same uh, as from the storyteller. Hello, my lovely cancer people. The first thing I got for you was the name Diana. I don't know if one of you are called Diana, if or if you're dealing with uh, a Diana. Um, and that someone out there might be forced to deal with something very personal might not really be what you want but there's something like there's a need of something I'm going to use three different kind of decks for you Cancer and I am going to um, give you a card for you, your person, your situation and the outcome so let's see, let's just jump into it the lovely Diana who is Diana? Okay, I'm just gonna, you know, put all the cards down first. And I'm switching it up, so I'm using these on you. Again, do what spirit tells you. So let's see. I don't know if you're dealing with a fire sign or a water sign. Maybe. I think that you are waiting for a message from... from maybe a Scorpio from a fire sign again we have uh, love begins at the bottom of the deck so either a new person is coming into your life a cancer or an old person from the past let's see what you got you got the reversed king of wands you got the message so maybe you are waiting for a message from that person if you have the firm foundation I mean, all your cards are reversed, so I feel that it is because you might lack something. I feel that someone out there might feel very, like, closed in. You might not feel desirable at the moment. I really feel that someone really, someone really broke you down in some way. Someone broke someone down out there. Is someone dealing with a lot of back pain, maybe? That might be because that you need to heal your last chakra, the root chakra. There is an energy of you need to ground yourself. I don't know why I feel with these cards that someone has been forceful on you. I really feel you had a bad experience. Someone had a bad experience out there. You might feel very powerless in a situation. It actually does feel very heavy to me, this energy of someone's out. Uh, someone's energy out there feels heavy. I heard that he didn't treat her right. So you really might have been dealing with, I don't know, a domestic relationship maybe, or or some kind of domestic, you know, person. It can also be your family that someone in your family just been like, you know, putting you down, always telling you in the past that you couldn't reach your goal, you couldn't do this, you couldn't do that, you couldn't find love, you're too old, you are, I don't know, 
too stupid, something like that. It has to do. It really has to do with your past. I feel or something that happened weeks, months, a year, a year ago. Um, now that you have the message and the butterfly, uh, I really feel or the moth. I don't really know what it is. I feel that there is a message of a new beginning coming your way. Like you're blossoming. You're like you are. Um, you're becoming strong again. I really feel with this card that you know that you are building up a firm foundation in your life like um, finances are you know getting better maybe you have been having a job that you haven't been happy about in the past and you're finally you know maybe you're looking for a new job um, maybe you're looking for a new house maybe new friends new, maybe a new love um, it's all about you finally realizing what you want in life and what you deserve so i th really feel that you learned a lot from the past a lot there's a message here that that you shouldn't let your past define you like whatever happened in the past is not uh, going to be a part of your future so this is like a you really need to let go of the past I really feel this is a message from your higher self or your angels or guides that there is a need for, of you to let go of whatever have happened for your person or um, whoever this is for because I don't I mean this might be about love for someone out there but there is a lot of like self-independence in the cards for you. Let's see what this has to say. We have the page of wands uh, reversed. We have meditate together with the new beginning. So again, uh, a new beginning is coming. This can, the, I mean, this reading doesn't have to be about love. I mean, it can be, but it doesn't really feel like this is about love. Again, take take whatever feels right for you in this relationship maybe you becoming a stronger person is um is going to help you find love i feel there's someone out there is impatient I'm, you might be dealing with a pe person who is very impatient for you to come forward this might be you know if you are someone who needs to work on yourself first you might not be ready for a new love again this can also be you know the the roles can be, you know, flipped in this. So again, take what resonates. You might be dealing with someone who's very like childish, childish, a fire sign. I don't know if you feel uninspired by that someone that you're like, you're, it's like you're really not, you know, you don't have a head for that person at the moment. Um, the meditate card, I really feel that you have clarity in what you want. It might be because you simply don't want a certain person anymore. Maybe you're like, you grow so much stronger now that you don't deal with his shit. It is also like a sign that all is well in your world. But there might be also that the other person have has recently got a lot of clarity about that he wants you. But that he knows that you need quiet time. Um, there is the there is the new beginning here, but I really feel that he, I feel that your person lets you, you know, do whatever you need to do. Maybe you finally just realize that you want to travel, you don't want to be in a relationship, and I feel that your person understands that, um, or maybe he is going to understand it at some point. For the situation, we have the six of pentacle reversed. We have the Saturn together with this sacrifice card. A lot of rainbow, healing muddy waters, healing old uh, relationships. There is, for some reason, there is a lot of lack in this um, in this situation with you guys. I really don't feel that that you want that person anymore. I really feel that you just want to. Maybe you feel that he's just too fake. Maybe you exposed him for something he did. Maybe he's a fraud. Um, I don't know if I got I got the thought that maybe someone you know did he someone steal money from you, and now he maybe thinks that he can like come back and be like ooh be like kiss ass and like 
I want to come back to you even though I took all your money. There is a lot of lessons in this. I really feel that um, you both learned from this. Maybe you learned that you, you know, not trust someone like you did with that other person. Uh, maybe you again. Maybe this card stands for you. You did a lot of sacrifices in the the past relationship. I really feel that you are releasing an old relationship that was not good for you. Like you realize how much you sacrificed in that past relationship um, and there is a lot like this is the same flower for the new beginning so you're like you know you are done with something this is major there is um i i heard rewards so i feel there is a lot of rewards coming your way for you know for how far you came i mean this really doesn't feel like a love love reading if you're someone looking for a love reading take a look at my um yesterday's reading i did for the all signs with the full moon that might be something because this doesn't feel like love love does this really feels like i am a strong independent woman that doesn't take shit for anything anymore for the result cards we have the again reverse card the eight of wands we have um courage together with the accelerated motion so I really, I really feel that you, you really, you are going after your dreams, really. You are single and happy. I feel that in the past that uh, you felt like there's been a lot of slow motions with you manifesting your dreams. Like I really feel that you have been very negative in the past about, you know, results. I really think that you just wish for action, something new to happen in your life. Um, this is a call of you to have courage, so really jump out and do whatever you want to do because you have this card. So whatever, you know, wish upon a star, uh, it is coming your way. You just need courage and believe that whatever you want to manifest, you can manifest. Even though this is not a love reading, I am going to take a card for you as well, Cancer, and see what the message is from your person. Uh, maybe this is a new person that's coming into your life after you are done traveling and being awesome you have this we got again a lot of healing i really feel that this is after your this is from the person you might meet at when you feel ready for it life is a series of constantly shifting circles when we resist change we resist the natural flow of life and create unnecessary stress go with the flow you will be surprised where it leads so I really feel, again, this doesn't feel like love, love. This just feels like you um, moving into something new in your life. Again, there is this, like, don't be afraid. I am also for you going to take a card that's going to be from your angels or guides or your higher self. A little guidance. What is the guidance for cancer? We have one. Synchronicities. If you want to read it all, I am going to put it here and you can just pause. Um, this card is simply just, you know, about that synchronicities are there for for you to show the way. So if you see birds all day, if you see 11-11 or if you, you know, if you wake up with a song and if you go out shopping, you hear the song. It does synchronicities and it's simply just there to show you that you are going in the right direction. Information affirmation for you is all things happen in perfect timing. So that's again it fits well with the entire reading for today. So this was all for today, Cantra. I hope that this resonated with you. If it did, please let me know in a comment below. And if you haven't already, please remember to subscribe and like and share. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!